Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create fade effect for your video, audio, and text uh, in VSDC. So you know that VSDC is a great free software. Without watermark, you can use uh, for uploading video to YouTube and make your family video and friend video and stuff like that. Uh, so some, some people ask me how to apply fade in and fade out effect for their audio background music and also for the video and text uh, inside this program so uh, that is what i'm going to to show you in this tutorial okay so let's go and if you don't have bsdc you can try it uh, try it out uh, at the link i put in the description okay uh, so here i am on uh, on my computer screen so first thing first we need to open the program and this is bsdc free video editor the latest version Sorry for the background noise. Let me close the window. <sighs> okay. You know that the weather in Hanoi is very hot, so. Um, but I don't want to turn on the air conditioner because I want some fresh air uh, outside. Uh, so I just open the windows. But uh, some people is grilling and fixing the house, so it is uh, very noisy. Okay, so this is the user interface when you start the program and you can see here, uh, although it is a free video editor, there's some, some advanced feature in the pro, uh, pro version that we cannot use, uh, such as the hardware acceleration and audio waveform. Uh, when you edit all your audio, you cannot see the, the audio waveform in this uh, free video editor, okay? By the way, we can click uh, close uh, the, uh, this advertisement here. And let's start with a blank project. Uh, click here to create a blank project. And now uh, we have some uh, sequence setting, uh, setting, and I can say Jackie number one. Okay, for the resolution, I will say uh, 1080p, 16 by 9, and frame rate 24, background black. And then I'm going to uh, click here, finish, to start a new project. So this is the working windows and now we need some material to to edit right uh, i already have a folder here you know with some background music and image and also video but maybe i will use only one one of the video here so let's uh, select all of them and then you can just drag and drop it directly to this window this preview window to uh, to import it to the program uh, by the way there is another way you can just uh, go to here at the view tab and then you can click here show the resource window okay and now you have the resource window here you just type media folder now you can drag and drop your material here uh, all of this to the source window resource window I'm sorry all right and now we can close this folder on my computer and we can see uh, here we have the image the sounds and video so first thing I want to uh, create fade in and fade out effect for my video. Uh, supposing that I want to use this one. Uh, this is the water, uh, which is a, a stock um, stock footage that I downloaded from uh, pizzabay.com. Uh, let's double click to preview it. Yeah, sorry. Let's double click at this file to preview it. VSDC let you preview the file before you import it to to the timeline. So let's play it very nice right sunset or sun sunrise maybe <laughs> i don't know i have no idea okay so let's click ok and now we can just drag and drop this one to the preview window here to start editing okay just add as a video and this is a video that's uh, we have no fade in and no fade out effect let's play it see very nice right in order to add fade in and fade out effect in this program all you need to do is to select it and then uh, you go back to this one the, uh, the editor so at the editor you have some option here uh, you have video effect and audio effect and text effect uh, but this time you need to select uh, here at the video effect and then go to the transparency and here you see fade in fade out and you have even the custom transparency and, and also other option here by the way just click here fade in to create a fade in effect okay and now there's more option for you to select by the way uh, all you need to do is to uh, select here add a new layer 
and from start of the scene if you want to add the fade, fade in effect to the beginning of the scene okay and then you can click ok now you have this one uh, this is a, the fade, fade in box I think it's a box and you can see the duration if you can just uh, click your uh, click here and drag to the right to extend the duration of the, the effect and you can uh, drag it to the left to shorten the duration okay and let's just go back to my scene here go back to the scene and now let's see the, the fading effect very nice right by the way I cannot see it because it is too short so I'm going to double click here and then extend the duration of the fade effect so that you can see it better maybe three seconds okay and now we can just play the video very nice right okay and that is for the fade in effect and we can do the same uh, for the fade out effect by the way there is another way you can just uh, select the, the fade effect here and then you can right click and go to video effect here then go to transparent transparency and then you can select fade out effect it will create a new fade out effect for this clip okay just select it but this time uh, we are going to select uh, insert to layer meaning that meaning that you have one layer for fade in effect and fade out effect at the same layer okay so we are going to select here and then we're going to click OK. Now we have a fade in effect here and then fade out effect here. So we can just drag it to the end of the uh, end of the clip and we can close the resource window if we want. So this is a this is the end of the clip and we also extend it maybe three seconds or stuff like that. Now we have we have the fade out effect for our video like this. very nice right and it is a layer and we can go back to our scene to view everything so now we have a fade in and fade out effect for our video on the timeline to the end very nice right and now if I want to add the background music and I also want to create fade out and uh, fade in and fade out effect for my music I can do the same but uh, this time we will not go to the video effect we need to go to the audio effect okay so we need to go back to our resource window and we can click view and select the resource window so we can view it just double click I'm sorry just select it and now we have some sound effect here but uh, I have some music here but I'm going to select this one uh, all I need to do is to drag and drop it onto the timeline and make it short like the video okay so I'm going to split the clip here uh, at this button go back to my editor and use the razor tools okay so I'm going to delete this part and now we are going to close this one all right and now i'm going to add a fade in effect for my audio and fade out also so all i need to do is to right click here and then select audio effect and then amplitude and now we have a fade in and then add a new layer okay and then we can select uh, this one uh, just right click and audio effect and amplitude and fade out to create a new fade out effect insert to layer meaning at the same layer okay let's click ok and now we have a fade out and we want to bring it to the end of the clip and go back to my scene okay go back to my scene and now let's play the the, the music so you can you can hear the fade in and fade out effect okay let me put on my headphone very nice right and finally we have the you know, we have the text right uh, we want to add a text and apply fade in and fade out effect for our text uh, this is also very easy so supposing that I want to add some text here uh, at this position 
then uh, firstly select the text tool here we can select text and then select text again and now we can click OK it will add a new layer now we can drag an area on the screen like this and then we can type fade effect okay let's make it center and also I want to select the text uh, okay just select the text select the text and I want to increase the size to 120 uh, actually I can format the forms and size and and some other other thing with the text by the way it's okay all I need to, to do it here and now I'm going to shorten the text to maybe three second or three second okay and again uh, we are going to uh, to apply fade in and fade out effect for our text with the video effect so all we need to do to right click here go to video effect and then go to the transparency and fade in okay and we can click okay and now we can right click here and add video effect and then transparency and fade out okay and insert to layer okay and now we have fade in and fade out effect for our text uh, at the same layer and we can just move this one to here okay let's play it first I think it's very nice and now we can just go back to our scene here uh, go back to the scene to see everything okay so here I just double click at the scene so you see here we have a text layer and two uh, fade in and fade out effect and we have a video layer here and fade in and fade out effect and audio layer here but fade in and fade out effect that is very easy right and the last thing you want to do is to export the video and you got a new video all right so that is how easily you can apply fade effect for your video audio and text in VSDC I hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more question about this program just let me know in the comment section below thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye